Hey everyone, welcome back. Take two. Apparently in the first video that I did on regarding my stitch markers, there was no audio. So I decided to delete that one and figure out what was going on. And hopefully you can hear me now. So, fresh, brand new. Mm -hmm. From, and I mean, from the top. Stitch markers. I have stitch markers that are available for sale. Um, I make up individual stitch markers. I ha make um, paper beads, which they look like this. All different, they come out all different colors, all different sizes, shapes, whatever. And then I turn them into stitch markers. And what you do is if you see a particular uh, stitch marker that you want, um, I sell them as a set of three. So you pick out three, you let me know which three you want. And then I uh, put them together as a set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and so show you each individual uh, stitch marker that I have one by one. And then um, we'll go from there. And... Um, and if there's any that you're interested in, my contact information is down below in the description box. And um, just contact me any of those ways and uh, let me know which three you want. And they will come, the set will come on. On one of these, and it will be attached to my card. And this blank space right here, I will have my uh, new email address on there as well. So, Okay, so here is stitch marker number one. And right up here at the top here, it will be the number. And I will also say the number of the, of the stitch marker. And that is the number that she will let me know. Um, that you want that particular stitch marker. And these that I have made here are all done, uh, made using the lever back closure. And then I also have um, a jump ring down here at the bottom. So if you wanna add a charm or I can add a charm, um, then I can uh, do that as well for you. Um, but yeah, so here's number one. Here is number two. And you might notice is that, that there might be um, three numbers missing out of the sequence. And that's because those have already sold. Here is number three. 
And you might also notice this number five. There will be some that are um, more of a matte finish. And then there will be some that are kind of a shiny finish. Here is number six. And the reason for that is because here's number eight is because the ones that look that have this type of finish is I use Mod Podge to seal them with because I ran out of the clear top coat uh, fingernail polish. So I used what I had. So I tried the Mod Podge and that's the way they came out. Okay. Number nine. And you can tell with number nine how much glossier it is. And that is with the clear top coat polish on it. So number nine. Number 10. And these beads here, I tried to, I only have two colors, this brown and the turquoise. So I tried to coordinate those with the colors that are in the paper. So, and then here is number 11. So like with this one, you can see some like purple or anything, but the main color is brown. So I use the brown beads. I'd like to get some, see if I can find some of those that are different colors as well. Here's number 12. And see how this one has more of that kind of turquoise blue color. So that's the reason why I chose those beads. Here is number 14. Here is number 15. And this one has the purple, but it also has the brown. So I chose the brown bead there. Number 16. Number 17. And number 18. And I have still have a bunch of paper beads, as you can tell, that I still need to make into stitch markers. So if you don't want the lever back, but you want the lobster claw claps instead. I can do that as well. Just let me know. And then what I can do is then show you 
um, pictures of some of the beads that I have here that I haven't made up into stitch markers yet. And then you can pick from those. And then I will make those into stitch markers using the lobster claw claps. So, um, so yeah. Um, once I make up more stitch markers, I will do another video showing you those as well. And like I said, if you're interested in any of the st stitch markers that I have shown, just contact me via the my email, Facebook Messenger, or Instagram. And those are listed down below in the description box. And um, we will go from there. So thank you everybody for watching. And we will see you guys in the next video. So please um, consider subscribing if you want to see more video. And click the notification notification bell so you will be notified of when those videos are posted and check out my come and visit with me when i go live on thursdays at 4 p.m pacific 7 p.m eastern and come check out my channel and see what's going on thanks everybody god bless stay safe Love one another, but most importantly, love yourself. Bye-bye.